to my channel. In this video, I will be showing you how I made some DIY nail files. So these are my nails. I already uploaded a video where I did the Barbie graded nails, so you can check it out. And these are my nail files. I bought them maybe a few months ago. And as you can see, some of the graded surface has come off the foam. And it's not working that well anymore because I've been using it a lot. Some are clogged up with Paul gel, but you can still clean it. Use a manicure brush to remove the tiny clumps of stock Paul gel, but I prefer to just make these DIY nail files because some nail files don't last that long. They wear a little after every use, so it's good to buy new ones after a while or so. This is a sandpaper with a grid of 100, and this grid is usually seen in regular nail files, the 100 180 grid. And then I also bought the 180 sandpaper. This grid is commonly used for shaping the nails or taking away the shine of the nail tips. And I also bought the 280 grit sandpaper. This is finer than the two and this is used as a buffer for finishing and smoothing out the nails or buffing the natural nails. I was supposed to buy the 300 one but there are no available so I just bought the 280 instead. These are the materials I'm going to be using. Double sided tape, a recycled cardboard paper, sharp scissors, and a ruler. I also used this recycled flat thin cardboard paper so it would straighten up the other cardboard. So basically what I'm gonna do is make the shape that I want. I'm gonna cut it out the same length and width as my other files and just tape it all together. So these are my nail files. They are so cheap and very easy to make. You can basically find the materials you will need in your house or maybe at your local hardware store. I will be using these nail files on my next video where I will show you how I remove my Paul gel. I had people requesting that I show it so stay tuned for that. So if you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up, click that subscribe button, comment down below what you think and also follow me on Instagram at happyfingers and I'll see you on the next video.